Well, shoot, here we are again. I bet you guys didn't expect to see one of these before the year ends, but uh, it has been an absolutely crazy year, if you guys couldn't tell. We missed four months of Bronco breakdowns, and no, it is not because we were hiding in our 300-foot bunker waiting for the world to end. No, quite the opposite, but we'll talk about that in a minute. <sighs> what a year, man. What a year. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Bronco Breakdown. Yes, uh, as stated in the beginning of this video, it has been about four months since we've done a breakdown and it's just because we've been super busy we're going to get to that in a minute but before we get into that i would just like to get this out of the way make sure you subscribe if you're not already uh you're here you're watching this video you obviously like bronco content and that is all we do here so no rush uh just by the end of the video i would definitely hit that subscribe button become one of the horsemen all of the cool kids are doing it uh, but anyways, guys, Merry Christmas to you all, as that has just recently passed. It's about to be the new year, and uh, I'm not afraid to call it. I am calling it right now. 2021 is going to be an absolutely insane year, and that is in the best of ways. It is going to be super cool. 2021 is going to be the year slated uh, as long as everything works out for uh, a bunch of new Ford Broncos to start trickling into the hands of the public. So with 2020 wrapping up, uh, we've definitely got some good stuff to look forward to. So speaking of the new Bronco, man, uh, again, a lot has happened in, in four months with the new Bronco. I don't even know what to talk about. You, you see the crazy thing, with the Bronco Breakdown when I first started it was to bring you guys news. This started two years ago, and two years ago, it was every little tidbit of information we would freak out about, every leak, every drop, every, you know, thing found on some random patent page we would dissect, and it was, it was a crazy time. But now there is this flood of Bronco information, Bronco news. There's so much stuff to talk about. You can't, you can't fit it all into one breakdown, especially after missing four months. And the thing with that, with all of the content, I mean, YouTube is absolutely saturated with Bronco content right now. So to just be another voice in that whole mess of things, it's not quite what I want to dabble in with this channel. You know, we've, we're wild horses. We've been doing Broncos for 30 years and uh, you know, the early Broncos. And so we're gonna focus on that until we get our hands on a new Bronco. But um, you know, until that point, it's just better not to add to all of the chaos, you know, unless there's the cool uh, focus things that we can talk about. So that's just so you guys know, I'll have to figure out what else to talk about in the Bronco breakdown, but we'll leave that for 2021 planning. Um, one thing that I would like to highlight about the 2021 Bronco, uh, and it's a question that I have been getting a lot, we've been getting a lot on phones, on social media, uh, through emails, is are we going to be making parts for the new 2021 Bronco? And the answer to that is 100% absolutely. You couldn't expect us not to. You see, again, the thing with wild horses is nothing but Broncos for 30 years. It's all we've done. It's all we really know. And so, you know, that's why Ford asked us to come down in 2019 to see the new Bronco in Michigan. Uh, they let us give our feedback with a bunch of other Bronco enthusiasts because it's just what we do. It's what we know. With the new Bronco being branded as insanely customizable, you best believe we're going to be designing and manufacturing parts for your Bronco. Uh, and not only are we gonna design them, uh, but we're gonna test them. And if you guys have been around the channel any length of time, you know how uh, gnarly our off-road videos can get. So if nothing else, stick around for that. Uh, can't wait to get the Bronco in our hands. 
With that out of the way, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick recap on what we've actually been doing these past four months. If you haven't been up to date with the videos, or maybe you're new to the channel and you don't know quite what we, what we do here at Wild Horses or on this channel, uh, we live the Bronco lifestyle. So four months ago when everything kind of took a dump, uh, as far as uh, schedule goes, you know, we had our Tech Tuesdays, we had our Bronco breakdowns, uh, and that all just kind of fell uh, for the main reason that uh, I had to spend the two hell weeks trying to get my Bronco ready for Super Celebration West. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, I had no engine, no transmission. I had a ton of wiring issues, a ton of stuff to try and diagnose and get this thing to work. Uh, but after a bunch of late nights and uh, wait, work until two in the morning, I was able to take a test lap around the parking lot, threw that thing on the trailer. And uh, the next day we headed out to Colorado. Now, uh, the road trip to Colorado was <laughs> insane to say the very least. Again, the video shows it all, but blown tires, blown engine, the roof ripped off of our trailer. Uh, we had to dedicate a whole video to all of the problems that we faced going up to Colorado. So that was definitely fun. Uh, however, as is our luck here at Wild Horses, the fun doesn't end there. Uh, we got to Colorado and the first day we were out there uh, in the Super Celebration West show field, I ended up ripping the third member out of my Bronco, uh, spent the next two days cobbling together parts, trying to get it together uh, in time for an off-roading adventure that we were gonna do with Bronco Nation immediately following the Super Celebration West. Uh, so again, shout out to Chris Greenwood and all the guys that helped, all the guys that well sorted. Um, that was an insane adventure, one that I'm never gonna forget. Again, all on videos that we've been doing the past four months. And one of those epic videos that you need to check out is the overlanding adventure that we did with Bronco Nation. I can't tell you how epic the trip was. The video is insanely epic, but it still doesn't do it justice, but it gets pretty stinking close. So check that one out. Uh, again, we had such a fun time with them. So after getting back from the overlanding trip, uh, we had about a week before Super Celebration East. Uh, and again, because we blew the engine in uh, the truck, because the, tr the top ripped off, ripped off our trailer, um, we ended up having to get a new truck and a new trailer, but heading out to Super Celebration East all the way in Tennessee, uh, smooth sailing. And if you guys have been around the channel long enough, you know that that absolutely never happens. This is magnificent. But uh, smooth sailing, that event was super fun. A week after that, I actually headed up to Seattle to film a promo with Bronco Nation on the Filson X Ford X, a bunch of other people involved in this project for the uh, Wildland Firefighters. So if you guys have seen it, the Fire Crew Bronco, it was the mint green one. Uh, it was, I was super honored to get to do a walk around of that. Of course, the comments were absolutely amazing. Uh, whether you like the rig or not, go, go read the comments. Uh, we'll call it constructive criticism, uh, but I thought it was hilarious. Now, a week after getting back from Seattle, we hosted our biggest swap meet ever. Everybody came out of the caves, everybody came out of the cracks. It seemed like there were more Broncos than we have ever had at a swap meet. There were more vendors than we've ever had at the swap meet. More people wheeling and dealing. It was a super great time. We we're super stoked. We thank everybody for coming out to that. Uh, immediately after that, like right after the swap meet ended, I ended up taking the pit bull out to get some sick drone shots in the sunset because I wanted to rip around. Ended up blowing my power steering pump uh, and five days after that, my muffler hit the ground <laughs> while I was pulling into the shop. So that was fun. Uh, I had to work on all of that. Uh, but then two days later, um, I blew my transmission snow wheeling, my fourth transmission, in case you were wondering. So at this point, I've been through two C4s, two 700 R4s, um, but if you guys have seen the uh, video from when we went down to SoCal, there is the next 700 R4 in there. I believe I got it dialed this time, and by me, I mean the people down at Bowtie Transmissions. They did a sick job. Shout out to Chris and Dwayne for hooking me up and helping me to learn a ton. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. And so 
there you have it guys. That is the majority of what we've been doing these past four months. Um, but it, it really doesn't stop there. You know, along with living the Bronco lifestyle, we've been shipping out parts five days a week across the country to you guys because you guys are living the Bronco lifestyle as well. You guys are fixing up old Broncos. You guys are breaking things on the trail. You guys are finding barn finds that you want to restore. And so we've had the privilege of staying open thanks to you guys. Uh, not only shipping stuff out, we've been working on designing new parts, fabricating new parts. Uh, we have our new apparel line that we've dropped. Just trying to keep you guys excited about the Bronco lifestyle. Because the thing is, we know that not everybody needs a three and a half inch suspension lift, but everybody likes to rock the passion. And so uh, we hope that you guys have been liking all the apparel. We put a lot of work into it. Now, speaking of new apparel, go ahead and stick around to the end of the video to see how you can win a free t-shirt. You guys know the drill. Uh, but anyways, guys, again, it has been an absolute privilege to help you guys build your dream rigs. Again, like I said, 2021 is gonna be absolutely awesome. We're gonna keep on helping you guys out. We're gonna be here for the, we're here, we're here for the long haul. So um, with that being said, uh, I did just bring up new products and with uh, it now being time for the new products segment, uh, let's say we go ahead and introduce a few of those. So today we have a treat for you guys and no it's not just the new products that we have available but today we have Jim Creel aka Chief Wild Horse aka Pops giving the scoop on our new products. Take it away Pops. Hello Bronco people have I got a treat for you today check this out it's a stock chrome bumper. Now I know already some of you that are paying attention are totally geeking out because there's something missing on this stock chrome bumper and that is those funky little holes that are in the middle if you're going to run the bumper barrettes which a lot of people don't. So you just plug the hole with the little chrome cap bolt but this bumper is much more authentic like what would have been on many stock Broncos. It's also a higher quality, let's call it show quality chrome, but not only do we have them in chrome, we've got them in black. Now these are great if you're keeping with that original theme of painting the Bronco bumpers Wimpleton white. If you're doing that, this is the bumper for you. Check them out on our website. We've got them in stock, ready to ship. Next up, we have the Wind Wizard. The Wind Wizard. So this is the new and improved redesigned Wind Wizard from Wild Horses. The Wind Wizard is set up for most Bronco roll bars that are right behind the driver and passenger seat as far as the dimensions and stuff. We've got 15 Velcro straps to hold it onto the roll bar and then it's finished with the material not only on the back side but also on the front side. And there's enough strap to go around roll bar padding or to go around down to maybe even an inch and a half roll bar but most of you're going to have two inch it's going to be kind of the standard and of course we've got a large uh, viewable area with the clear plastic and all of that helps to keep the wind from coming and smacking you in the back of the head not only do we have the black but we can do these in parchment we can do them in the black carbon fiber the silver carbon fiber a few other things we're open to suggestions check them out online on our website for dimensions and additional information so there you go guys, super rad. Now obviously for time's sake, those were just a couple of our new products. Again, it's been four months, so we've been busy. Click the link in the description to see the rest of our new products, the rest of the stuff we've been busy here at Wild Horses designing. Um, and aside from that, with new products out of the way, it is time for future Bronco news. So 
as you all know, we are rolling into the new year. And as with any new year, we want to continue to grow. We want to continue to make better parts, uh, be more consistent in our content, make better content. And so kind of the first thing on that list that we're gonna try to hack away and that we need to bring up is Tech Tuesdays. Uh, as you guys know, uh, we kind of fell off the wagon with Tech Tuesdays, but I think you guys were starting to enjoy them. Maybe not, I have no idea. Um, but uh, we did enjoy making them. They serve to help our customers out with certain questions that they come up with. Um, the problem was we were having to scramble every other week trying to get content together, trying to make that video. So with that said, we're gonna take a, a continued break from Tech Tuesdays until we can accumulate uh, enough videos to where we don't have to scramble every other week. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We did get a lot of amazing suggestions from you guys for what you guys wanted to see us show a how-to video on. So make sure you stick around for that segment uh, because we are gonna start it uh, hopefully by mid-June, kind of the same time you guys will be getting your 2021 Broncos, supposedly. So uh, keep an eye out for that. That's gonna be a sweet segment. Next up, we have settled on a date for our 2021 Bronco Roundup. May 15th is the official date, and as long as everyone settles down by then, uh, we definitely plan on throwing a great event. So May 15th, mark it on your calendars. We will have more info coming as that event gets closer. Now, let's bring up the new Bronco again. Uh, if I'm correct, the Bronco Sport has hit dealerships, uh, so that's pretty cool. But the real news is reservation holders have an official deadline to choose the dealership that they want to work with uh, when purchasing their new Bronco. So what is that deadline, you ask? Uh, the deadline is March 19th. So if you have a reservation and you want to work with the dealer besides the one that you were assigned when you placed the reservation, then you definitely want to get that into the works. One thing you do need to know is that you will have to call forward customer support. Uh, Bronco Nation does have a whole article on their website that highlights all the steps that talks about it, so I would definitely check that out if you need more information. But just be aware that you need to start shopping around and find the dealer that works best for you. Uh, now, not only is March 19th the cutoff to find a dealer, but it is also a cutoff for orders to be submitted. So again, just keep this in mind and get to work tying up those loose ends. With that being said, we will wrap up our future Bronco news there. Um, I know that there's been quite a chunk of info in this video, but what what can we say? We missed four months, so. Uh, but that's out of the way. Uh, you guys know what time it is. As long as you remember, uh, it is time to reveal the December Bronco of the month. Taking the coveted title this month is none other than the 1992 Ford Bronco owned by Max Ribble. This Bronco is sitting on a solo motorsport stage four long travel kit and rolling around on 35 inch Pro Comp Extreme MT2s. Now, I say roll around, but half the time Max's tires are flying off the ground as he fancies hitting jumps at higher speeds and sending it, as is the popular thing to do for fun nowadays. A 351 Windsor sends him sailing, and it has officially sailed him into becoming the owner of the December Bronco of the month. So there you have it guys, that wraps up the final Bronco breakdown for the best year ever. Uh, keep an eye out for the recap video that we're working on right now that just kind of highlights all of our favorite parts from this year. There were definitely a lot of them. But yeah, it's been a blast, it's been great. Uh, before we leave, let's give away one more t-shirt. Uh, so you guys know the drill, if you wanna be entered in to the giveaway, then you need to comment down below um, your favorite part that you bought from Wild Horses this year uh, and why you liked it so much. Whether that be a suspension kit or a t-shirt or a whole freaking body kit, comment it down below. Uh, you have one week to put the comment in. I'll look through them a week from now 
and uh, pick a winner to win a free t-shirt. So that's just kind of what we do here on the Bronco Breakdown. We give away free t-shirts. So there you have it, guys. That is a wrap to this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support this past year. Uh, again, we say it a lot here, but we literally could not have done it without you guys. Uh, we're happy that you guys are enjoying the content. Happy that you guys are enjoying the stuff that we put out into the world for you guys to take part of. So uh, it's been a great year despite all the chaos. Uh, I'll ask one more time. If you're not subscribed, you might as well go ahead. I'm not going to beg you, but uh, you're this far into the video, so why wouldn't you? Um, <laughs> Yeah, there you go. With all of that being said, <sighs> Happy New Year, and we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace!